Oh no. Oh no. Chat, the hair looked so much better off camera. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What happened? Oh no. Oh no. Oh Jesus. Oh man, my hair looked fine <laughs> before I put the headphones on. What the hell was that? <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> All right, my bad. Uh, I was like, you know, before stream, I always, you know, I, I take a, a, a pre-stream pee. And, I, you know, I, I check myself in the mirror. I make sure, you know, everything's looking okay. My hair looked totally fine. <laughs> and in the, in, the, uh, in the 10 minutes from there to here, headphones on, camera on, light on, stream ready to go. My hair went to complete shit. I don't know. I must at some point ruffled it around before going live. All right. Well, that's why we got the hand. Hi. How are you? What was more embarrassing? My hair or I show speed uh, showing his dick? What's more embarrassing? You tell me. Who? I'll Google that. Look that up. That's still... Uh, my Twitter, what's happening? That is still the number one thing on it. Is is that he showed his dick yesterday? So that means I get another day of jokes out of it. Once it gets off of the what's happening tab on Twitter, I'll stop talking about it. Anyways, speaking about stop talking. What the opposite? Start talking. That's what I'm gonna do. Just fuck. No, he showed his dick. No, oh, you don't know. Uh, he. I talked about this yesterday, actually. Um, I made a lot of jokes about it yesterday during Final Fantasy 16. He um was playing Five Nights at Freddy's and he got scared, and he stood up. He did this. Uh, a uh, chica popped out and he screamed. He was like, Ah! I'm not gonna really scream, but he's, he's like, Ah! 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 And as he does that, his dick comes out of his pants. His whole cock came out straight up. Germa did it first. <laughs> well, uh, Germa didn't. Germa didn't leak cock. Germa leaked his nipples, and that was because his webcam froze. But um. Yeah, that's that's the one of the craziest things I've I think I've ever seen on the stream is a dude's whole ass pernis coming out of his pants unintentionally. That's crazy. There's got to you there has to be so many things that went wrong uh for that to happen, you know? So many fail safes failed. And led to something that's not safe for work. Uh, the German naked webcam moment. Yeah, that's some of the funniest shit. Uh, the first time it happens and he's like completely confused. Uh, my favorite, though, is the follow up where it happens again. And he he turns his webcam on and he's just naked. And then it cuts to how he is. And he just looks at him, he's like. All right, chat. So, like, <laughs> he just completely moves on from it. Uh, yeah, that's a great clip. A lot of great Germa clips. I'm starting to think Germa might be funny. Maybe. Could be. Guys, we're going to spend tonight talking about our favorite streamer clips. Um, my favorite streamer clip is... Hmm. My favorite streamer clip. Oh man, it might actually also be a Germa clip. Yeah, it's when he slaps himself in the face accidentally. When he's doing a bit and he's describing like a fight to the chat. And he goes to like fake slap himself but stomp. And he doesn't stop and he accidentally he actually slaps himself in the face and then is like offended by it. Um that might be my favorite clip on the entire internet. 
So, anyways, uh, we're not going to hit that caliber of funny tonight because I can't even hit that caliber of the English language. So, uh, we're going to play Pikmin 4 tonight, obviously. Uh, I'm actually on time tonight, which is nice. Close to yesterday. I feel bad. I still feel bad about that. I know I shouldn't, but it was like, man, we could have gotten at least a little bit more Final Fantasy 16 in. And especially as that game's, you know, just right. I feel bad that it kind of got a little shafted, but uh, we'll make up for it next week. But we're going to do Pikmin 4 tonight, and I'm excited about that. I'm a little, um, if I can be honest with you, if I can be real with you, I'm a little, like, nervous about tonight's stream. Not because I think it's going to be bad, but I don't know, man. I just, there's a little bit of, like, nervousness in my gut today. I think it's because I, I haven't really been thinking about the stream today. I, I earned my paycheck today at work, man. I did a ton of stuff today at work. Completely unrelated to funny little guy. All about my actual job, which is a change of pace. And so I haven't had time to really like sit down and be like, okay, like I want to talk about this on stream and this on stream. So if you see me waffling tonight, if you see me going like, I don't know... I'm out of topics to talk about. Please, by all means, throw me a fucking bone. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I didn't have time to mentally prepare for this stream. So please, if if you see me waffling, if you see me, uh, you know, losing my touch tonight, throw me a fucking bone. Uh, give me something to talk about in the chat, you know? <laughs> But I think we'll be okay, because I'm in a good mood. I feel good. I'm in a good mood. I'm excited to play more Pikmin. I'm excited to be here and talk to you and chat with you and tell you a couple jokes. I think it'll be okay, but giving you a warning. Anyways, I'm doing good. Chat, how are you? How's everyone doing? Uh, it's, it's officially move-in time here. I live in a college town. And they are back. The students are back today. And it is a nightmare to be uh, outside today. Uh, it is. I'm thankful I don't live downtown. Because I was getting reports from like m my friends who work downtown. Of like, I'm trapped. I can't, I can't get out. I'm sitting in a parking garage. I can't get out. Every street is bumper to bumper traffic so thankful i don't live there or else uh this might this might have been an irl traffic stream but yeah it's it's kind of crazy it's gonna be crazy for it's usually like a month usually like by mid-september is when things like settle but for that first month, it's everyone's moving in and then everyone's rushing to stores and everything, trying to get stuff because they just moved in. So it's crazy. But, um, you know, I don't mind students being back. I used to hate it because I've been programmed to hate it by people who live here their whole lives, who are old. Um, I don't hate it that much anymore because it, uh, it gives me an excuse to, like, not an excuse, but I can go downtown and there are way more people there for me to, like, meet. You know, like, if I go to my local comic shop, it's there's way more people and they're open to actually talking. Uh, not that I usually instigate conversations. I'm not, I'm not someone who goes up to strangers on the street and goes, Hi, how you doing? Hi, how are you? But I am someone who, like, if I'm in, I've, if I'm in the comic shop, and I'm talking to someone, talking to someone who works there or whatever, and someone butts in, I don't go like, um, who the fuck asked you? Um, be gone. I like having conversations. So, uh, you know, I don't mind students being back. It sucks for traffic, but Jillian twisted my ankle in, in your sleep. 
Were you having like a nightmare? Were you doing like one of those dog sleeps where you're like running in your sleep? That fucking sucks, man. If you can't, like, that's the worst feeling because then you lose trust in sleeping. Then you, you go, you get ready for bed and you're like, well, I hope I don't break my leg tonight. I've been there. I've I've been there plenty of times. Well, you know, keep it prompt. Keep it keep it iced. Keep it braced if you need to. Um, as a as a habitual ankle roller, me. Uh, that's my ankle advice, man. Keep it propped. Keep it keep it iced, and uh, wrap it if you need to. Brace it if you need to. That sucks, though. Sorry to hear that. I thought for sure today that I, like, threw my back out. I thought for sure today I became 50 years old and threw my back out. Because I was, I was doing so much lifting. Today. So much lifting and stalking and shit. And at one point, it was just, I went to lift something, and I'd lift it with my knees. Where anyone goes, I'm streamer, you're not supposed to lift with your bank. Lift it with my knees. But I went to straighten out, and my back went. <clears throat> and it was like, just like a chill went down my body. And I was like, uh-oh. Do I try to like straighten out more? Uh-oh. And I strained out more. And I was okay. But for a second there, I was like, uh, am I dead? Did I die? I wish, but not fortunate enough for that. In what little free time I got today, I was... Uh, it sounds stupid... But I was uh, getting deep into talking heads lore. Because Stop Making Sense is getting a 4K re-release. And they're doing like a 40th anniversary showing in theaters. And Stop Making Sense is like the best. It's that and The Last Waltz are like the best concert movies ever. Love them. I love the Talking Heads. I've listened to every Talking Heads album. But unlike something unlike the Beatles or something where like I know the lore, I know the history, I'm not super deep into Talking Heads lore. I know a little bit, but I'm not like super deep in and I wanted to learn more about why they broke up because one of the things for this 40th anniversary showing is they're doing a live Q&A, live streamed Q&A, where the band's getting back together for the first time in 21 years. And I was like, why did they break up? What's the deal there? Because sometimes you get bands where they break up and it is like, oh, yeah, I know why. Because the last album was, ah, oh. you know, sometimes you get a Fleetwood Mac situation where the last, like, couple of albums... And even their greatest album, Rumors, is them just being like, I will fucking kill all of you. I will, Lindsey Buckingham, I will kill you. Thanks, Stevie Nicks. You know, like, I was like, what's the deal with Talking Heads? Because I, I never got that vibe with Talking Heads. Uh, no, t uh, turns out. Turns out that lore runs pretty deep in a lot of ways. And I'm not going to bore you. This isn't a Talking Heads video essay. But I find it really interesting that they're... Uh, it seems like David Byrne was David Byrne. And was kind of a little bit crazy kind of a little bit kooky and a little bit of a control freak okay listen 
I'm used to bands where one of the members becomes a little bit of a control freak and the other members go, nah, we're good. I, I love the Beatles. But <sighs> I was not expecting to learn that, uh, is it Lisa? What's her last name? It starts with a T. Am I wrong? Am I am I stupid? I think I might actually be stupid. Tina. Jesus, not Lisa. Uh Tina Waymouth. I don't know the full story. I, again, I'm only dipping my toes into some talking heads lore. But she said that um, David Byrne was a murderer. And I was like, well, I would like to hear about this. Um, she says that David Byrne cast a voodoo spell on a Brazilian boy and he died. And he... He, he cast the spell because David Byrne is autistic and that autism is like witchcraft. And then David Byrne was talking about her, how she would send letters to him, like calling him a piece of shit. It would start with being like, yeah, you ruined the band and this and that. And he's like, you know, I won't. I won't debate that. Like, I certainly have felt that way. But then it becomes like, you're a piece of shit. We fucking hate you. You're a murderer. You're a disgusting person. You you should not be let free. You should be in prison. Why don't you work with us anymore, David? David, why won't you reunite with us? Why won't you reunite, David? David, we want to play with you, David. And he was like, uh, she she answered her own question in the letter. So it was real interesting to learn like what uh, uh, one of the people, one of the members of the talking heads thinks autism is akin to witchcraft in that David Byrne with his magic autism powers killed a Brazilian boy. I mean, let's be real. It sounds like maybe she's dealing with mental health issues I mean I'm not really trying to make fun of her as much as I'm trying to go like oh oh this is this is deeper lore than I I thought uh this is not how I thought this was gonna go so it's interesting uh I know like Jerry Harrison seems to be like Pretty chill. By all accounts, Jerry Harrison is like the Ringo of the band. Where like everyone gets along with him. But yeah, Tina Waymouth and Chris France. Chris France, right? Um and David Byrne have like a beef triangle that has caused the band to not be seen together in 21 years. And now they're getting it back together for this Stop Making Sense 40th Anniversary Q&A. And it's like... Uh, Alright, let's see how this goes, I guess. So, I love... I love the talking heads. I love the talking heads. Burning Down the House was one of the first songs... That I like, I knew the band, right? Like, when I was a kid, the only music that I'd get to listen to that wasn't country is when my parents would buy like compilation CDs of like the greatest 80s hits, the greatest love songs of the 70s. And Burning Down the House was on one of those 80s CDs, they, it was a big four CD set of the greatest songs of the 80s. 
and burning down the house. It was like burning down the house in our house. <laughs> I liked house music, I guess. Um, <laughs> but burning down the house was the first one where I was like, who, who is this band? And it was the talking heads. I love the talking heads, but I've never taken the time to like learn about them outside of the actual songs. And, uh, now I'm kind of interested. Now I kind of want to know the T, but I read that like, uh, no one knows who's telling the truth. I, I, as far as I understand, the only, the only person who is a mostly reliable narrator is Jerry Harrison and everyone else will just lie to fit the narrative of the day. Even David Byrne, which I love David Byrne, but like, will just lie to fit the narrative of the day. So it's uh it was an interesting day, you know. Uh Kate the Elephant did a great cover of Psycho Killer. So I don't need to listen to talking heads. Okay. Hey, Alien Ant Farm did a great cover of Smooth Criminal. I don't even need to listen to Michael Jackson. It's that easy. I, I don't know what Cage the Elephant is. I've heard that before. I don't think I've ever heard a Cage the Elephant song. So, um, I, I, and I got to be real. I, I, I'll probably prefer Talking Head. So. Did, uh, did the, did Cage the Elephant? Here, here's, here's my impression of a Cage the Elephant song. Let me out of the cage. Put it on the playlist. Okay, we can we talk about the playlist? I haven't actually gotten a chance to do this. I've been listening to the playlist. Thank you. Again, thank you guys for making the playlist. There are songs that I hear in the playlist and I go, yo, that was dope. I liked, uh, I heard a, uh, a ASAP Rocky, ASAP Rock song. I just got done talking about the talking heads. You really expect me to, to know what I'm talking about. Um, I heard that and I went, yo, this is dope. I like this. So I liked it. Was it ASAP Rocky? It was a, it was ASAP Rock. Those are two different people. Oh. Okay, that's news to me. It was ASAP Rock. Because I went, isn't his name ASAP Rocky? Uh, liked it. I thought it was dope. Uh, there was that, uh, what is, what's the group, uh, David Diggs is in? David Diggs? Uh, heard that. I've heard that song before. Clipping, yeah. Liked that one. Uh, I like that song, <laughs> but I, I'm not trying to make fun of, uh, David, David Diggs, but the way he raps is really funny to me. I really, his cadence is so, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. His cadence is so unlike anything else I've heard, but it reminds me of Hamilton. <laughs> His cadence is different in different songs. Okay, well, in this one, like he was like, suddenly there's no one around. The people are gone. You're all by yourself. And I was like, I was, I was like, this rules. But like, I, it was like, this is, this sounds like Hamilton. <laughs> Um, JPEG Mafia had dope lyrics, but the backing track gave me anxiety. So I listened to half of it and I skipped it. There, it was too, it was too noisy. It scared me. So I skipped it. Um, other songs that I've heard recently on it were like a bunch of like, uh, someone, someone, uh, someone put, uh, 
uh, I'm coming out on it. Guys, I know that one. Again, if it's if it's before the 90s, and especially if it was before the 2000s, I've, I get it. I got it. Unless you're pulling something real obscure. Um, but like simple and clean is on the playlist. It's like, fellas, I know what simple and clean is. And, uh, simple and clean jump scared me because I went, I put the playlist on while I was at work and I paused it, I guess right at the end of a song. And then I went, hit my earbud again, played it. And it immediately started with simple and clean and it jump scared me. I, uh, I don't need to hear simple and clean. I know that one. Heard that one before. So that was an immediate. There's, there's been a couple songs where I've gone like, I don't need this in the playlist. Skip. Skip. Um, but overall, you know, hold on. I could tell you exactly what songs I liked on Spotify, which ones I, I really thought were great. Um, running down the dream by Tom Petty. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Spotify. Let's sort by date added, please. Thank you. Um, spiritual by magma. It, was that something someone put on the playlist? Had to be. Yeah, yeah, it had to be. Uh, Spiritual by Magma fucking ruled. Uh, XTC. Crunch, you put XTC on that playlist. Thank you for that. I had heard, I've heard XTC before, but it was never something that I'm like, I never added it to my Spotify. I was never like, I want to get deep into this. XTC fucking ruled. Uh, yeah, None Shall Pass by Aesop, Aesop, Aesop Rock, uh, was dope. Nothing is Safe by Clipping, Loretta by Ginger Root, Spiritual by Magma, and then Earn Enough for Us by XTC, uh, are all songs that I, that I heard this past time, this most recent time, not today, it, it was earlier this week. I can't remember what day. I listened to the playlist. And I threw those on there. Because I was like, yo, this fucking rules. So, thank you. Keep keep putting more on it. Straight up. If you, I mean, if you want to. That's up to you. But uh, just just keep in mind. If you put, if you put joke songs. Or you've put songs I've already heard a million times. I don't, uh, I gotta be real with you, I don't laugh. I go like, okay, skip. I'm really genuinely trying to learn. Straight up. So, like, I'm just going like, okay, skip. But, yeah, there's, there's a lot of shit on here that I'm excited to get into. Uh, no, that one's fine. I was going to say, guys, you don't have to put rap snitch. Uh, I can't talk tonight. Rap snitch. You don't have to put MF Doom on the playlist. <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, but that song rules, so keep it on there. Never mind. Um, okay, there's more JPEG Mafia on there that's good. There's a lot of JPEG Mafia on there. That's good. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm excited to blast more of this. But I I you got to let me res you got to you got to respect my music opinions. You you don't have to agree with me, but you got to respect me on some things, right? Like you got to just let me say shit that you disagree with. What well, 
JPEG Mafia has a song called I Cannot Fucking Wait Till Morrissey Dies. All right, that's dope. That's dope. <laughs> uh, you listen to Stereo Lab. No, I do not know who that is. <laughs> There's a. <laughs> ASAP Rock has a song called Kirby. That rules. Yeah. All right. This is this is looking pretty good. There's way less uh, joke songs on here than there was the last time I looked at it. I feel like. But yeah, keep uh okay. All right. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. I was about to go I was about to go who the fuck just added Psycho Killer? And then I saw it was the Cage the Elephant <laughs> covered that we were just talking about. I was going to say like, guys, don't put the Talking Head. I own most of the Talking Heads discography on vinyl. Please don't. But we're good. Sorry. I forgot. See, now I got to make a playlist for you guys. I gotta make an educating chat playlist, and it's just gonna be uh, like Monkberry Moon Delight, uh, Uncle Albert, uh, Sister Golden Hair, uh, what's some more of my favorite songs? Horse with a No Name, any Tom Petty song. Uh, yeah, you know, I'd throw some soccer mommy on there. I'd meet you halfway. Some soccer mommy. Some, uh, some snail mail. Some always. Some summer semester. Some, uh, girls like girls. I think I'm not getting into Paramore. It's that. Maybe this is unrelated. Think about getting... I've never listened to Paramore, really. I know, like, the big Paramore songs. And, uh... That's it. And I'm not saying I'm gonna love Paramore. But I keep getting videos of them playing live. And Haley Williams... Williams? Jesus. Is so charismatic and cool... And all of their music that I hear, I'm like, hey, I'm kind of into that. That I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe I give it a shot. Maybe I listen to some Paramore. See if I like it. What's Who's a better band? Paramore or Radiohead? Because I've never listened to Radiohead. I know two Radiohead songs. I know uh, Creep. And I know, um, one where he drowns. And I like that one. That's my favorite Radiohead song. I like songs that sound like, uh, like the Titanic sinking. Straight up, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> Everyone would pick Radiohead, Radiohead by a country mile. See, I've never been able to get in. Every time I've tried to listen to Radiohead, it's always been um, with people who want to explain it to me. It's like, no, don't, don't explain it to me. Music is better when it's not explained. It, I don't know if that's a hot take. Uh... I enjoy music way more when I don't know shit about it. I can just vibe with it and then eventually learn what they're talking about. One of my favorite songs of all time is uh, Easy Easy by King Cruel. That's a top three song for me. And I listened to that thing a hundred times and got my own meaning out of it and got my own feelings out of it and my own emotions and, and everything. And then I was told what it's about and it was like, oh, okay. 
Well, it's not about that to me. So that's okay. You see Elmo listen to King. Yep. I watched that whole interview, baby. Elmo and Abby Kadabby. And they're making them listen to uh, a bunch of, of music. That King Gizzard clip is so funny, though, because uh, they play, like, the most hardcore-sounding King Gizzard song uh, to them. And then <laughs> they're like, you know who'd like this? And they're like, DJ's like, who? And they're like, Oscar the Grouch. It's just cute. It's just funny. Uh, Peach PRC? Yeah. Yeah, that ruled. I love, I, that's the funniest stuff. I mean, that's, that's what the Muppets were made for. Um, that's why the best Muppet stuff is some of those, the, well, some of the best Muppet stuff is the stuff from like the sixties when Jim Henson is just touring like late night circuits because it's just like people trying to have real conversations with Muppets and it's the funniest shit. It's great. By watching you get railed on the couch. Yeah, I think um I think Big Bird would love that one. I think that's a I think that's a Bert and Ernie song. Anyways, um what was I talking about? I'm gonna make a playlist for you guys, maybe. Put Monkberry Moon Delight on it. Uh put I gotta throw some like country on it. To really get you guys. <laughs> I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw, it's going to be good though. It's going to be like, it's going to be willy. It's going to be like, uh, like redheaded stranger. Oh, if you, Hey, the soggy bottom boys. Yeah. We're going to get the soggy bottom boys, the yellow river, uh, boys, the barbecue pit boys. We're going to get all the boys. Uh, but you haven't. You haven't felt sadness. <laughs> My feelings are more valid than yours because I've I've smoked in the rain while listening to Willie Nelson. Sorry. My feelings are just more valid than yours. I've listened to Blue Eyes crying in the rain while in the rain. Therefore, I am superior than you. Thanks. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll put some willy on it. I'll put some willy, put some. Uh, put a little, put a little Waylon Jennings on it. Put a little Oak Ridge boys. You guys want to get in the Oak Ridge boys? Don't. Sorry. They're okay. There's a couple good Oak Ridge boys songs. Gonna put some Alabama. <laughs> Just good music. Just good tunes. What's the most like? Let me look at my liked songs on Spotify. What's the most? Let me find a song that all of you would fucking hate. Okay. You want to know what the first song I liked on Spotify was? Think, just take one second. Think to yourself. What's the greatest song of all time? Just take one moment. Think to yourself. What's the greatest song of all time? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm asking seriously. Think to yourself. What's the greatest song of all time? Because you got it in your head. Okay. Whatever it is, it sucks. In comparison to the actual greatest song of all time, Hey Ya by Outkast. Thank you. That was the first song I liked on Spotify. <laughs> uh, okay. Second song I liked on Spotify was Just a Friend by Bismarcky. 
So you know that I'm a, I, you know I'm all about music. Really going with the deep pools. Okay, and then it's all Paul McCartney and George Harrison and John Lennon because this was 2015. This was before the Beatles were on Spotify. Do you remember that? You remember that hellscape where the Beatles were exclusive to iTunes? Um, I've got Ringo Stars, You're 16, You're Beautiful, and You're Mine. Uh, Surrender by Cheap Trick. Uh, uh, every song that Creedence Clearwater Revival ever made. I mean, uh, uh, every single one. Jesus Christ. This is why I don't use the liked songs on Spotify. You know what's after CCR for songs added? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out of their shells tour. Just the whole album. Why? That shit sucks. I don't want to listen to that. Why did I do that? Then Red Dead Redemption music. Then covers of video game music. Covers of the DuckTales moon theme. Then Pokemon to be a master. Then the Power Rangers Zeo theme. All right, you know what? That one slaps though. That one's, that one slaps though. Is it Power Glove? No, no, that would be nice. No, it's um, it's the video game players. Uh, yeah, the Power Rangers Zeo theme. Then Kirby's Dream Band. Then the soundtrack to the Scott Pilgrim movie. The soundtrack to the Scott Pilgrim game. Oh, Jesus fucking God. Then a bunch of recordings that Mel Blanc, the famous voice actor who, you know, played Bugs Bunny. Just a bunch. Here he is doing Morris. You guys ever hear that song? It's about how funny it is that a guy's named Morris. Why was why did I Then a bunch of Eric Clapton music. We got to get rid of that. That dude's a fucking racist piece of shit. Get out of here. Okay, then a bunch of Elton John, then a bunch of Billy Joel. Jesus. You listen to Billy Strings. I do. I like Billy Strings a lot. Billy Strings is part of that y'alternative movement that I'm very into. Jesus. Yo, my Spotify sucks. I mean, to be fair, this is my Spotify of eight years ago. When I was 17. Okay. Every single gorilla song. Outcast is on here for a second time. Why did I only put I put Outcast or I put Hey Ya and I put Miss Jackson and that was it. What the fuck, dude? Bruno Mars is on here. Goodbye. I don't want to listen to Bruno Mars. Uptown Funk. No. No, I'm good on that. Okay, but then we got Sir Duke by Stevie Wonder, and that rules. Okay, then just every John Lennon song ever made. Then every They Might Be Giants song ever made. Seriously, every single one. Every single one. Then the score to Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> Just the score. Just the score to Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Why not? Okay. 
then the score to Ghostbusters, then the soundtrack to Ghostbusters, then the soundtrack to Ghostbusters 2, then the Hulk Hogan's theme. <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, you can pinpoint the exact moment that I got back into wrestling in 2015. Oh, it's all wrestling themes. Oh, Jesus. And that's putting on the Ritz by Taco. You guys into putting on the Ritz by Taco? He's not that bad. A lot of Michael Jackson. Cars. You got to... You gotta have the cars. I'm a cars head. R.I.P. Rick Hampton. Uh, the entire soundtrack to Sonic Adventure? The entire soundtrack to Sonic Adventure 2? The entire Macho Man Randy Savage rap album? Got, you gotta have that. Uh, Brother Man Bill by Terrible Tim. Can I play that or is that DMC8? We should play Pikmin 4 at some point. Brother Man Bill. Is that DMC8? I think it might be. Oh, maybe not. All right, fuck it. Let's play. We'll play Brother Man Bill while I look at this. Brother Man Bill is the brother living at the top of the hill. Brother Man Bill is the brother living under the Brand Bill skills. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, just every George Harrison song. I guess I missed some the first time. Hey, every Tom Petty song. And then December, th straight up, a monumental day in my life. Now, at this point, I listen to every Beatles album several times over. But this, on Christmas Eve 2015, the Beatles came to Spotify. And every goddamn song went on there. And not a single goddamn song gets taken off till the day I goddamn die. I don't care. If it's Little Piggies, I don't care if it's Revolution number nine, it stays on there. Because every song is dope. People get killed. Okay, then this is when I started listening to the Beach Boys. Okay, this is when uh, <laughs> Fallout 4 was maybe coming out. I don't know. There are a lot of Dion songs. Uh, uh, John Denver music. Uh, every Tenacious D song. Okay, bunch of Van Halen. Okay, see, now this is where we get into the period of my life that I... Or, or the genre of music that I was into when I was young and I'm not anymore. And that's like 80s hair metal. I can't fucking stand 80s hair metal, but I like grew up on it. There's some... I, I like some Van Halen. But Unshaken by D'Angelo, yeah, that's uh, that that's on here. Uh, I mean, up at the uh, towards the start, I had the Red Dead One soundtrack. So, um, okay, there's the entirety of Little Shop of Horrors. Not taking that off. Little Shop of Horrors rules. That's the best musical of all time. All right, some DMX, Blondie. Barbie Girl by Aqua. Steppenwolf. Okay. Now this is when this is when things started changing. This is spring 2016. This is when Spotify recommended a playlist to me called Gold School. And it was all 80s and early, very early 90s hip hop. And I went nuts on that shit, man. I was into that so fucking hard. I love that shit. So you got like Ice Cube. You got NWA. 
Um, you've got... Hopefully more than that. Because right now I'm looking at Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. Okay. My favorite classic hip-hop song. What else is on here? Okay. God. You guys ever listen to Savlonic? Savlonic was a, like, super synth-heavy... Uh... I don't even know how to describe them. Super synth heavy band that was the one of the leads on it was a guy named Mr. Weeb. Oh, okay. Don't do that. One of the, Oh Jesus. What do you mean? Next in queue is Ninja sex party. One of the leads on it was an animator named Mr. Weevil who did a series called Weevil and Bob that I was really into. And I was really into Savlonic. Okay, here we go. We got notorious B I G. We have Nas, we have Wu-Tang, we have Snoop Dogg, uh, Beastie Boys, Run DMC, Digital Underground, House of Pain, Cypress Hill. Uh-oh, there's a Kanye West song. Uh-oh. Did he know? Uh-oh. Am I gonna am I am I gonna get canceled for listening to Kanye West in 2016? Uh oh. Let's just remove that. Uh okay, a ton of Paul McCartney. Oh right, Joni Mitchell. I forgot Joni Mitchell removed all her music from Spotify. Cause I just have a ton of stuff that's grayed out right now. Oh, Poison by Bell Biv DeVoe. Sorry, no offense to Hey Ya by Outkast. That's not the greatest song of all time. It's Poison by Belle Biv DeVoe. Uh, I can pinpoint the exact day that I listened to Rumors by Fleetwood Mac for the first time. April 21st, 2016 was a day that changed my life. Straight up, seriously, changed my life. Um. Okay, a lot of Toto, a lot of Leonard Skinner. Um, I don't like Leonard Skinner anymore. Other than Simple Man, Simple Man's dope. Okay. Is it? Do you want me to stop doing this? Do you want me to move on and play Pikmin Four? Because I can do that. If this is boring. Please let me know. Okay. Uh, I guess I uh, got into... I got into, like, dad blues at this point. So I got a bunch of George, George Thorogood and the Destroyers. I've got the Brownsville Station. It got a lot of sticks. Cheap Trick, Joe Walsh, Night Ranger. America... Uh, Doobie Brothers. Oh, God. Get all... Get every single fucking Ninja Sex Party song out of here. Holy shit. I'm sorry. I got nothing against those guys. That was barely my sense of humor in 2016. That is definitely not my sense of humor in 2023. Okay, Shad. Chad, have you do you listen to Shad? The rapper Shad? I don't think he's made anything in a while, has he? Uh Albums. Uh, his last album was like two years ago. Okay, I haven't heard that. Last time I heard was uh, a short story about a war in 2018. Are we down embarrassing? Oh, we absolutely are. We absolutely are. It's painful, man. I want to die. <laughs> want to know some Kirby lore? Me, not the game. Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. 
Did I not remove the Ninja Turtles music? Did I seriously leave that on here? I just scrolled past that. No, get the hell out of here. We'll keep Pizza Power. Because Pizza, pa Pizza Power is legitimately a jam. Everything else goes in the trash. Same with the, the bootleg video game music. That's trashed. Pokemon to be a master. That's trashed. Sorry. I can't do that. I can't do... I can't do that. What kind of Pokemon are you? Are you loyal? Are you true? I can't delete that. I can't delete Double Trouble, Team Rocket. That's one of the greatest songs of all time. Sorry. Poison by Belle Biv DeVoe. Double Trouble, Team Rocket song is the greatest song of all time. I'm keeping the Power Rangers Zeo theme too. I get the fuck. If you got a problem with the Power Rangers Zeo theme, if you're sitting in the car, your friend's got the aux cord, and he's playing music, and suddenly the Power Rangers Zeo theme comes up. If you've got a problem with that, get out of the car. Jump out of the car because you don't deserve to ride with that guy. All right, I gotta reach out. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I used to have a music blog where I would get sent mixtape and singles by up and coming rappers. I, I didn't. This is lore. I didn't know this. I would post them there. I got into a rabbit hole of illegally uploading albums until one time I got an album early in the mail and it got like 30,000 downloads and I felt bad. Oh no. My ninja sex party phase was so bad. I have signed CDs and a poster, dude. I, uh, I was a big, big Game Grumps head. And when JonTron left, like, I watched every video of the JonTron era. And then when JonTron left, I coped so hard that I was like, no, it can't be over, dude. So I still watched every video. And so when they, when they did, what was it called? Star Bomb? In fact, I think I still... I probably still have it. When they did Star Bomb, I got like the epic collector's edition that was like a poster and a t-shirt and a signed album. And I remember the album coming out early. Coming out like a day early. The digital download link was sent out early or something. I remember being in my 10th grade English class. And listening to it. Like putting, like hiding an earbud and listening to it and going, like, this fucking sucks. This sucks? How can it suck? And that was it, man. I, I was off of the Game Grumps train immediately after that. Did not come back after that. I'm getting rid of all these Mel Blank songs now. I don't think I'll ever listen to Toot Toot Tootsie ever again, so. Part of a few website and scenes back in the day. Silver friend that is still. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you. Cannot stand any of them except Ross. 100% agree. 100% agree. I do not believe in guilty pleasure music. I'm not ashamed of what I like. Even when I liked Starbomb, I was cool with liking Starbomb. That's fair. Um, I believe in guilty pleasure music. Just a Friend by Bismarcky. One of my favorite songs of all time. I'm not going to say it's a good song. I'm not going to say it's a good song. Because it's a fucking great song. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>
I just okay. Because <laughs> it's a good, yeah, exactly. Uh, when my taste changes, I, oh, absolutely. I mean, going through this makes me want to die. I mean, there's a lot of things that are like, yeah, I'm still into that. Like all of the Beatles stuff. That's still my music. That's still my favorite music. But like when I get to like the hair metal stuff, it does make me want to die. I've had this problem, though, since I was a kid of, um, is it, I is on the road again live, and, um, is it an album based on an IP? Is it an album based on a thing that I like? Yeah, let me just download the whole thing. When I had, uh... An MP3 player. I think I had like two MP3 players throughout my life when I was a kid. The first one was just like a junky one. But then I, and, and it was like, I put, uh, again, like shitty country music. And I put like 80s glam metal on it. But then the second one, I got a Zune. And I was so into just throwing whatever I could on it. Because there was a program called Rhapsody. That I think you were supposed to buy songs on. But for some reason, you could just not. I don't know what the deal was there. You could just not. You could buy the songs there, but you could also just drag them to your device and they would save. I don't know. Anyways, so I used, I filled that thing up with like Weird Al, and then I would just find like, okay, I know I like Tom Petty. So like I would just throw stuff on there. But I put the entirety of the Rugrats Christmas album on it months later and it fucked everything up because every time I'd hit shuffle you'd get like a Weird Al song and then you'd get like a stick song and then you would get like I uh, 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 Phil and Lil singing All I Want for Christmas is My Two Front Teeth and so I was like, how do I get rid of this? How do I fix this? And I could never figure out how to get it off my Zune. So I just stopped using it. I just stopped. I just gave up. Uh, so that was, that was a bad time. But for a good, like, I want to say like a good year. Because I got a Zune for Christmas. And I remember getting the Zune for Christmas. We would go up to my grandma on my mom's side. Every every year for Christmas. Christmas Day. And so I remember getting my Zune for Christmas. And then having like an hour. Before we had to go up. And I remember just. Uh, uh, downloading every Weird Al song as fast as I could. And then on the drive up. Listening to Weird Al the entire time. And I'm still a Weird Al head. Um, okay, we've got Mbomp by Hanson. Okay, this is when I discovered that the 90s existed. I think because I've got What's Up by Four Non Blondes. I've got Tub Thumping by Chumba Wumba. I've got Stacy's Mom by Fountains of Wayne. I've got Mbomp by Hanson. I got I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. I'm removing that. I don't want to hear that song ever again. Sorry. It's not bad. It's a good song. I don't need to hear it ever again. I don't want to hear it again. Kryptonite by Three Doors Down. Um, Let's see. Okay. I think 
summer of 2016 after I graduated high school is when I started developing a little bit of an okay taste in music. Okay, there's more Savlonic, but... Oh, man. A lot of Hot Dad songs. That was the summer of Hot Dad. Um, we've got Guile's theme from Street Fighter 2. Yeah, dude. November 4th, 2016. The entirety of the Mollusk by Ween was added to my liked songs. Yeah. Uh, and then I started listening to the Aquabats. Okay, Kokomo by the Beach Boys. We're going to get rid of that. But still just a lot of 80s music. Uh, Frank Sinatra. I had, I had a little bit of a crooner phase. Who doesn't, you know? Who doesn't? Who doesn't love old blue eyes? Um, a Taco Bell Christmas. Do you think I can listen to a Taco Bell Christmas on stream? I, Hot Dad's not going to sue me, right? Uh, okay, the Sonic CD soundtrack. Okay, yeah, this is when I started developing an actual taste in music. Because it's not just, like, stuff that my parents listen to. Like, I'm listening to Andrew Bird. I discovered Weezer. Jesus, I discovered Weezer. In 2017. I discovered ABBA. I don't think so. In May of 2017, I started really listening to the Aquabats. And then literally two months later, we saw them live. <laughs> Uh, not to invalidate the Sinatra likers, but I feel like if you listen to a lot of Sinatra, you also think Citizen Kane is one of the... Yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next question. June 21st, 2022, I added Axel F by Crazy Frog to my liked songs. So you're saying that's a good song because you said you don't believe in guilty pleasure music. So you're saying that's a good song. Uh, okay, Steven Universe soundtrack came out June 2nd, 2017, maybe. Oh, isn't that, they just, they reissued the vinyl. Oh my God, is that out yet? Oh my, <laughs> oh Jesus, I should have set a reminder. I should have set a reminder. This Steven Universe soundtrack on vinyl, I've been trying to get for forever because it immediately sold out. And then they announced that they were reprinting it like earlier this week. Did that come out? Did I already miss it? I'm going to cry, dude. If I already missed it getting reprinted, I'm going to throw up and cry. Why is there a thing called Spinch? I'll figure that out in a minute. How do I search on I Am 8-Bit's website? Steven Universe, please. Please still be up for sale. Add to cart. Add to cart. Or add to cart. UPS, USPS Media Mail does not offer insurance or reliable tracking. The event or loss or damage transit 
IMF is not able to pr provide reimbursements or replacements. I'll take the risk. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. Stop doing. I think we just got DMCA'd. I think we just got DMCA'd. I think I think we just got DMCA'd. Okay, Steven Universe four by ten vinyl set. Oh, you know what? You might think that this whole bit is boring. You might think that this sucked, but this is a happy ending because. I remembered that the Steven Universe vinyl set got reprinted and I can now purchase it. And that's what it's all about, baby. That's what it's all about. All right, I got to purchase it. Can we, can we put, can we just play Brother, Brother Man Bill again while I purchase the thing. Taxes. You guys can't see my screen off of my glasses reflection, reflection, right? You guys can't see my card information. Uh, no, no, she's the same. Hey, now. That's true, Kirby. You do already have my credit card. Okay, what's going on? Why are we all screaming and chant? Oh my god, I ordered it. I hope that they reprint the movie soundtrack. Or do the second volume soundtrack on vinyl. That'd be dope. I like Steven Universe. Uh, it's Little B's birthday. He's making a clip saying happy birthday, base god. Okay, I'll, you know what? Normally I wouldn't, but Little B has seen one of my videos. Little B saw my Toe Jam and Earl video, and he said it was dope. And I had that screenshotted on my laptop. That's a that's a proud proud achievement. So, I'll, here we go. Get ready to clip, guys. We're gonna start this. We're gonna count down, and then get ready to clip when I'm done. Okay. And tweet it. You guys gotta tweet it at Little B. Because if I tweet it at Little B, it's weird. So make sure to clip it and then tweet it at Little B. Okay? Ready? Hey, Little B. Heard it was your birthday. Happy you made it another year. I'm a big fan, and uh, I hope that you have a good birthday. I hope you have a lot of cake. I hope you have a lot of balloons. I hope you get a lot of presents. Um, I hope you have a good time. And I want to say thank you for being the based god. And I want to say thank you for being just so cool and being you. So this is me, a uh, funny little guy, saying happy birthday, based god, little B. Thank you. Go look at some feet? What does that mean? <laughs> All right. All right, clip that and uh you guys send that to little B. I can't do if I do it it's going to be cringe, it's going to be cloud chasing. You guys got to do it. You're the ones who wanted me to uh, to make that message, you guys got to do it. Okay, more Eric Clapton music. Let's get rid of this. Oh, Pop. You guys remember Pop? You ever listen to Pop? Okay, yeah, man, from this point on, uh, uh, I got some good, some good taste here. If they've listen, 
This is legitimate advice. I'm telling you this now. You're looking at prospective significant other. You've gone on a couple of dates. Things are going good. Say, go, hey, you want to uh, swap Spotify liked songs? It's a great way to get to know each other. Right? Share the playlist, whatever. Scroll through their playlist as fast as possible. Do they have our love will still be there by the trogs? The hit band behind Wild Thing? Do they have our love will still be there by the trogs? If they don't, end it. If they don't, get away from them. No class. Oh, they got rid of the Steven Universe singles. But only some of them. Probably because they're on the Volume 2 soundtrack? Do, do they listen to Secret Agent Man by Johnny Rivers? If not, done. Kick them. Do they have Sucker's Prayer by the Decemberists? If not, kick them. Oh, man. See, now we're getting into stuff that I actually remember. Why was this removed? And we're getting into stuff that is like, why did it get... Why is this removed? We mean boom, 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 boom by the Vanga boys got removed. What? Why did that get removed? That's fucked up. I just want to be your ladybug by the Bumblebee Unlimited got removed. What is going on? Oh, should I? I should probably remove the Lizzo music. Uh oh. I thought I did. Oh. Um. Kanye West and Lizzo. Um. I wish I could play you some of this music. I wish I could play you some of this. I wish we could sit here right now and listen to My Favorite Fish by Gus Dapperton. You can set it up so you can't. That's true. I could. That's true. That's true. Not tonight, though. I can't do it tonight. I, I, I think I got to stop the stream to route audio like that. But, um... Listen, I have a plan for Saturday's stream. I guess I can tell you this. I have a plan for Saturday's stream. But it requires... Uh, it requires fixing Flug AI. Uh, my plan for Saturday's stream is to revive Flug AI and bring him back for a stream and, and play a very specific game, which I won't tell you, but there's some issues with Flug AI that uh, my free trial for Microsoft Azure, which is what uses the voice, the, the text-to-speech, bring it out, and so now I have to pay for it. But it's, I think it's like a fraction of a cent per like 200 uses. I think it's something where it's like, yeah, I might have to pay a penny, but I need to check that. I need to make sure that that's how that payment works. And that it is like that because I, I really don't want to pay like $2,000 to do another flag, Flug AI stream. 
So I got to look into that, which I'll hopefully be able to do tomorrow. But if not, I'll hopefully be able to do Saturday before I, if I stream before, if I stream, if I stream and I can't get Flug AI going, Flug AI going, I definitely can get the audio routing set up. It's not going to be a permanent thing. Um, I still plan on playing music like this during the stream because it makes these intros better um, for the VOD watchers. But we could do a music request stream. We could do a live music reaction stream. If that's something you guys would be into, um, I could set that up for Saturday if I can't get Flug AI going. Yeah, uh, at this point, I'm looking at 2022. 2020, I did not add a lot of new songs. 2020, um, I don't know what happened that year where I just kind of wasn't interested in listening to, like, happy music. I don't know what went on that year. But I did not add many new songs. 2021, I did... Oh, 2022, I also did not listen to many new songs. I added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I, I only added 29 new songs. That might be the lowest of any year last year. This year, I've added more songs already. But that is helped by uh, uh, De La Soul putting their whole discography on Spotify now. So, anyways, um, yeah, maybe we do. Uh, maybe we do a music stream if I can get it going. 2020 was a terrible year for being jolly and or goofy. You're preaching to the choir, Mac. That year, uh, that year I was not a funny little guy. That year I was a, a distraught, large child, honestly. I, you know. I want to play the Power Rangers Zeo theme, but I actually know that that'll get us DMCA'd, so. Sorry. Okay, chat. Well, that was fun. I hope that wasn't too boring. Um, I don't even remember why we did that, but. Uh, yeah, we'll do a music. Mu viewer request a music stream, maybe. Real soon. It just depends on if Flug AI works. So if you guys really want that stream, I guess pray for the downfall of Flug AI. But, all right, chat. I'm going to throw to a quick pee break. Uh, I'm going to take a quick BRB, quick pee break. When I come back, we'll play Pikmin 4. All right, I don't know what's going on. Ruin it with the raunchiest shit you've ever heard. Hey, you know what? Send me whatever you want. As long as you can handle me going, yeah, this is shit. I don't want to hear this. Send me whatever you want. Also, but also, I don't know if that should be the whole stream. I think at a certain point, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to be saying the same thing over and over again. So I get to I got to think about that one, but I think it's a good idea for at least like a big chunk of a stream. How bad the Beatles are. Well, you're wrong on that. So that's okay. That's all right. 
That's okay. You could just be wrong about that. Did you guys tweet that at Little B yet? Or what's... What, is he... Is he... Are we friends now? Or what's going on? <laughs> I love Little B. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw it to a pee break. I gotta... I gotta piss. I have to take a piss. When I come back, we'll do Pikmin 4. We'll DM it to him. Do it. Like I said, he saw... I did a video whenever Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove came out. And for some reason, Toe Jam and Earl's Twitter account tweeted it at him. It was like, yo, Lil B, check this out. And he said... I can't remember what he... It was something to the effect of like, hey, this is cool. Good vid. And that... Put a smile on my little face. So, all right. Pee break. I'll be right back. And we'll play Pikmin 4. You can piss too if you want. You're allowed. I'll allow it. You're welcome. What is going on?
Okay. Uh, let me get this ready to go. We're playing Pikmin 4. If I haven't said that enough times. Um, let me get it ready to go. While I'm doing that, Chad, uh, remember yesterday I talked about how I, um, I hate spiders? I wish spiders would die. Guess who had to deal with another spider today? <laughs> I was at work. I was cleaning stuff out. I was setting stuff up. Uh, and I go to get uh, this old napkin holder that we used to use at work that we don't use anymore. Because uh, the napkins that I got were a size that didn't fit the, the new napkin holder. They only fit the old napkin holder. Okay. So I grabbed the old napkin holder. There is, I won't say it was a big spider. In fact, at first I thought it was an ant, but it was like red. It was like a maroonish red. And I was like, ah, no, 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 I'm not fucking with that. I'm not fucking with that. So I took the napkin holder uh, out to the trash can outside. Got this big trash can that sits outside. And I took it and I just, as hard as I could, went oof, into the trash can. Just smashed it down there. And then I'm like, okay. And I let that sit for like 10 minutes. And then I went back out and I picked up the napkin holder. And it was still on it. And I went, oh no. So I got a hammer. Uh, it had crawled out before it was like in it. Now it had crawled out was on top of it. So I just got a hammer and uh, beat the fuck out of the spider with a hammer. And then and then clean the napkin holder. So that's the kind of mood I'm in today. With Pikmin 4. If I see any fucking weird ass bugs. I'm taking a hammer. I'm taking a hammer to it. I'm sorry. What am I? Listen. I woke up this morning. And there's a weird mark on my arm. I don't know if you could see that. There's a weird mark on my arm, and I don't know why it's there. And after losing the spider yesterday, I'm kind of paranoid about it. I'm not. I'm not playing around with any spiders today. You know, I'm not. I'm not having uh, buggy fun times. Doing lantern flies right here right now. Yeah, I mean that's that's a fucking nightmare. I'm approaching Doom Guy levels of hatred. <laughs> fucking rip and tear. <laughs> No, that's uh, that's understandable. We were talking about lantern flies yesterday. Um, they kind of suck. Okay, what's what does Dingo want? Oh, uh, you think you got this under control? That is not. That is Cockney. James Day, ain't it? How do I do an Australian accent again? Uh. I can't. I fat can't. <laughs> that was the, that was the Australian. Oh, I got to do the Crash Bandicoot two thing. That's right. That's how I get into it. I do the Crash two pre-release commercial. I just flew in, and boy, are my arms tired! Ah! Oh! -ho. You think you got this under control, is that it? No one can pull a fast one on me. Oh, okay, it was just a mission. Chat, what's the worst bug? What is, what's the worst bug? Uh, oh, I get, we have to do another night expedition? 
Oh, no, we do. Poochie? Ochi? Sorry, I forgot your name. Ochi? You're gonna die, dude. You are fucked, Ochi. You are gonna die, dude. Roach gotta be the all-star shooting bugs. Roaches are bad. Roaches and ants. Uh, yeah, I really hate. But they're at least, like, not a threat. Unless it's what don't like hissing cockroaches, don't they bite? I remember being in like first or second grade and they had someone bring in like hissing cockroaches for us to like hold. And I feel like a kid got bit or something. Maybe that was the birds. Cause they had they brought in birds for us to like hold. And there was one kid, I remember, like, screaming and crying at the sight of a bird. And he had to be, like, taken out of the room. So, I don't know. I like ants. I like ant farms. I like contained ant situations. Uh, but ever since I've seen that, saw that movie Ants, it's on site. I'm a bug's life man. Well, I guess they're ants and bug's life too, aren't they? Yeah, but I sided with the grasshoppers in that movie. I was, I liked the, uh, what's his name? Hopper? I liked him. I always think about, uh, bug's life when I play Pikmin. And likewise, I think about Pikmin when I see a bug's life. Because there's like that, there's like a... Like a drop of water in that movie or something. You know what I'm talking about? Like there's a drop of a liquid that they're like obsessed with. Right? Am I remembering that wrong? And it always makes me think of the sap in Pikmin. It's been a long time since I've seen A Bug's Life. I think the last time I watched that movie it was on VHS. It was on, yeah, probably the last time I watched it, it was on VHS, and I smashed my head into concrete at, like, you know, six years old. Because I wanted to, I uh, wanted to be the, the worm guy, and uh, so I laid on the, the basement floor of my grandparents' house, and uh, went to, like, do the worm, but didn't understand what I was doing, so I just... Full force collided my skull with the, the uh, basement floor and like knocked myself unconscious. So that was like at like five or six years old. So that explains a lot. I think um, that's that's basically I use this as an excuse for all of my problems. The amount of arguments I've gotten out of by telling that story is uh, shockingly high. All right, let's explore. Oh, oh, there's a whole. Oh no. Okay, let's do meandering slope. Oh, good. It's it's second level difficulty. Good. I'm seeing how I almost failed this one. Let's do the second one. My coworker has a vintage 12-inch Bugs Life statue. That's dope. Bugs Life, is, if I remember, is a good movie. And, like, absolutely Pixar's most underrated. I think. If I remember correctly... That's like Pixar's most underrated movie. That movie was dope. I used to say Wally was the most underrated Pixar movie, but now that thing's on the goddamn Criterion Collection, that thing is not underrated anymore. All right, here we go, chant. Ochi will die again. 
while back, I taught OG a particular skill used for operations that involved protecting a client. Okay. Oh, I can tell Ochi to protect. Oh. That's actually very dope. Okay, I get it. All right, Ochi, my man. Protect the luminal. Okay, we gotta get as many as we can get. Because we need the numbers, man. <laughs> oh, I think it started. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, the mines. Do I have mines? What are the, the mines? The mines, the mines, the mines. Mines. Dope. Okay. All right, this gives us... We can do this. We can do this. All right, just kill these guys. Just kill these guys. My Uh, there's a whole other fleet, isn't there? Oh, Jesus, there totally is. Go, oh, guys, with on me. Oh, Jesus, here they come. Where I, I'm trying to get up. Is that all the glow Pikmin? I, I've got 32. Okay, that's going to have to be enough. Okay, we're all right. You guys. Glow pellets can be carried here too. Oh. Decoy for the creatures. Okay. Okay, I mean, that just gives me two places I gotta protect, so I'm not... I'm actually not <laughs> into that. Okay. Oh, we gotta dig the hole, dig the hole. Oh, no, wait, I didn't see the big guy! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him. Okay, alright, we only we only lost like two guys. That's that's okay. That's fine. Where's the other guy coming from? Jesus, 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 Jesus! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is so bad. Uh, I gotta go for the big guy. I can't care about this shit. I gotta go for the big guy. Oh, right. The glow mob. Uh... Okay, all right. Kill him. <laughs> Please. All right, I uh I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think we're going to be okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Those guys don't even know how to get down here. They figured out how to get down here. 
That's fine. We're good. We're okay. We're good. Ochi, you good? Ochi's good. Hey, that wasn't that bad. That was not as bad. That was not as bad. I kind of crack under pressure, huh? <laughs> Do you ever play Iron Brigra Brigade? No, I don't. I don't think I've even heard of that. Iron Brigade. What am I? Wait, no, but I can see it in my head. I don't. I don't think I played it, but I might know about it. Iron Brigade video game. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. 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 I didn't play it, but I think I've watched videos of it. Like, back in the day. Yeah, it's a double fine game. Yeah, okay, I do know about it. What was up with double fine in making, like, tower defense games there for a minute? Like, they made Brutal Legend <laughs> and Iron Brigade. Why? What was up with that? I respect it. I mean, I think more devs should make more devs should make things that make you go like, what was that little era that they went through? Why did they keep going back to that? More devs should change up what kind of game they're making. That game was on Iron Brigade was on like, I remember seeing it a lot on like XBLA. With gold on Xbox 360. I might own it. I might own it. Now that I'm thinking about it, that might be in my library. I just don't think I ever played it. My observations have led me to an important realization. Glow Pikmin cannot die. What? How? Well, what do you mean? Huh? Well, when a Glow Pikmin uh, n meets its demise, it turns into photons and returns to the luminal. Or so it seems. Yeah. Are they... Really Pikmin then? Oh my god, look how close we are to getting the next level. I don't think we've even... <laughs> Isn't there like a whole ass level we haven't even touched yet? Listen, this is a thorough expedition, okay? Give this man his pill. Right. Administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Oh, this is the guy with the cool eyes that I like. There's a guy with the Muppet eyes. Oh. That just looks like Dingo. Jin? He's always in search of the next uncharted planet to explore. As well as someone who wants to hear tales of his past adventures. Our work doesn't end there. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we rescue. Yeah, okay, we hear that every time. Uh, where's Jin? It's your deal. <laughs> Pay me. Thank you. Money, please. No. Okay, where is Jin? Oh, there he is. My name is Jin. I am an adventurer wandering the universe in search of uncharted lands. Adventurers never skip their training. You can do most anything as long as you rely on your physical self. Which brings me to another important aspect of the Andori challenge training. Meditation. Why don't you give it a try? Marmori. 
Get gold in one challenge. Oh. Didn't we already do this? Yeah, we did this. All right, let's get gold. Let's try and get gold. Let's try and go for gold. I think I got real close to gold on this, right? This might take a minute. Okay. No, this way. Get up here. Already not a good start. <laughs> Already Dandori issue. Really a skill issue. More than a Dandori issue. They're going to do that. Okay, those three are going. You guys are with me. Oh, shit. Okay, good. Good. I don't have enough for that. Let's do that. Ochi. Cool. Um, okay. I guess kill this man. No, Ochi, get back to pooling. Okay, good. Okay, Ochi. Right, Ochi. Okay, you guys come in. You three. You three. You three. No. Get off him. You three. Thank you, Ochi on me. Hi, right, welcome back, everyone. Head down this wall. Everyone, tear down this wall. What do you mean two minutes left? Okay, we, let's just get the treasures now. I need Ochi. I need Ochi. Shit, come here. Um, what are we missing? This gold? Okay. Ochi. Do you guys get that? Come here. Help him with that. Um. Okay. Are there any other treasures that I'm missing? Okay. 
No, I don't. I don't think so. We just gotta go. We just gotta go. You just gotta mine. You just gotta mine quicker. More mining. That's gold, baby. That's gold. That's gold, baby. Platinum. What are we missing? We're missing ten points. How are we missing? What are we missing? What are we missing? What are we missing? I don't even know. I don't even know what the last 10 points were. I think it was just that big ball board. Shit. Shit. Fuck it. One more time. Run it. Run it back. Run it back. I can get the platinum. I can platinum this. We can do this. Okay, they got it. Going for the plant. I hope I don't have to get all platinums, though. <laughs> for 100%. Because <laughs> I think I'll just die. <laughs> I don't think I built for that. <laughs> Oh shit, wait, I fucked this up. Alright, hold on. I can still make time with this. Do this, do this, get these guys. Send them to do that. Ochi, okay, Ochi's pulling. Slap this guy's ass. Okay. <laughs> get over here. I need you. Alright, take his body. Rest of you with me. Do we have enough for this? Take it. We got it. You guys, come here. Okay. Get his ass, Ochi. Get his ass, Ochi. Ochi, get his ass. Okay, Ochi, is he, no, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, wait, Ochi, pull that thing, you seven fellers, uh, come with me, Ochi is not doing, Ochi, Ochi, you fucked me, dude, are you kidding right now, how do I, sw <sighs> stop, Switch. Okay, you guys. They got it. We didn't tear down the wall yet. Shit. Oh, we're making bad time. Come here. We are not making good time. I can't get up this without Ochi. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. You guys, come here. Everyone come here. Tear down this wall. Okay, while they do that, you guys start mining. Thank you. You guys come here. Okay. Ochi...
Ochi can't climb ladders. I don't know why I'm trying to make him... Uh, fuck. Come here. Go, 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 go. Okay. You guys... What else needs grabbed? That's it. That's got to be 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 a perfect. That's got to be a perfect. Get over here. Mango boys. Hurry. Oh my God. If you sons of bitches don't get your asses in there now. Uh, oh, you got to be fucking me. Oh my god. Retry. Run it again. Run it again. Run it again. We got it this time. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm missing. I'm missing. I'm missing. All right, get that corpse. Uh, can Ochi unravel? Let's find out. Oops, OG. Okay, dope. Are you guys on me? Everyone, come here. Kill this man, kill this man. We got it. We got it. Okay. Don't worry about the corpse. Forget about the corpse. Come here. Actually, you guys, tear down this wall. While I'm busy. No, come here. Come here. Guys. Do they not? Do they not know? Do they not care? Hello, guys. Okay. All right. Ochi and the five Pikmin kill. <laughs> Stop! Stop, Ochi! Get out of there, dude! <laughs> What are you doing, Ochi? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Dog, no, not to the cookie. Ochi on this. No, wait, wait. Ochi on this. Uh, okay, you five fellas. I only got two on this. Okay, come here. Come here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> Help them. Okay, plants done. Now we just clean up. Now we just clean up. Watch this. Okay. You guys on that? Uh, two of you. Two. two oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. And Ochi. Okay, eight of you. Clean up more corpses. Clean up more corpses. Uh. Hey, you guys. I got two dudes left. Two dudes. Help with the help with the donut. Okay. All right. This is not. I don't feel good about this run. I am not feeling good about this one. We still gotta dig this out? Oh, we're, no, 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 this is not the run. 
I tried to do new age strats and this was not the run. Okay, get the Stroop waffle. You guys come here. Are we done mining? Okay, we're done mining. Get over here. I need Ochi. Why do I keep doing this without Ochi? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, send seven men. Seven men to carry a corpse. Rest of the men with me. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay. Uh, we need... Hold on. A couple guys can do that, but I need to do this. Right? And then... And then... Three guys here. And then 15 guys here. And Ochi? I mean, Ochi can only take one at a time. That's kind of a waste. Okay. No, this was not the run. Somehow I really fucked this one up. I missed one guy! <laughs> Bad run, bad run, bad run, bad run, Fuck. bad run, bad run. We got it. Next run, next run. Run it. I will perfect this. Okay. All right. All right. First thing we do, Ochi. Uh, Ochi. Uh, you ten guys tear this down. Ochi, you're with me. Ochi, kill this man. Ochi, get get off the dog. Kill this man. Why are you not killing this man, Ochi? Ochi, what are you doing? Bud, Ochi. Ochi, please. Okay. Um, all right, dirt walls demolished. Cool, come here. Kill him. No, get your high knees over here. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. No, come here. Drop the corpse. His oh my god, we're making record time. Nobody's ever Dandoried this hard before. Holy shit. Can this be real? Uh, can I? Will they help? No, they'll just grab the cookie. Oh no, they're helping. Holy shit. Okay, go that way. Everyone go. Just just grab something. Just grab something and take it. Okay. Alright. Alright, we're we're doing this in record time now. Um okay, I really didn't need to have Ochi do what I just did, but Okay, you guys mind that Ochi? Come here. Oh, wait, I need two more. That's right. That's right. Shit. Here. You two on this. Okay. You guys with me. Good. Where's Ochi? He's coming. He's coming. Ochi, come here. Go. Oop. That's fine. Go.
Oh my god, hello. I didn't even know there were more guys in there. Okay. You guys. They knocked down the ropes. Good. Okay. You five. And Ochi. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it, baby. We got it, baby. We got it? Forty-five seconds to spare. Dan Dory Master. Dan Dory Master. Call me the Dan Dory Daddy. Easy. 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 Okay, chat. What are what? Okay, since everyone wants to backseat, what are we bitching about, chat? I did not talk to chat the entire time because I could just see you guys getting mad at me about something. What are we mad about? What are we not happy that the streamer isn't doing perfectly? Go ahead. Go ahead. What are we doing? You were mean to Ochi? Okay, I was. I will say I was hard, hard to Ochi. I will give him a scrummy bone. I will give him two scrummy bones. Just assume that because we watched you throw, we said something about it, we were backseating. Brother. Brother. Brother, I got the chat logs right in front of me, man. <laughs> I can see the chat getting mad. You could have... <laughs> Read them. Show me where we backseated. Um, does he know? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Mike, put more Pikmin on it. Mike, Mike, no. He still doesn't know. I don't even play Pikmin, and I know. <laughs> Chat, that's, that's backseating, guys. I don't know what to tell you, Mac. That is... I mean, nobody went, I'm streamer! I, did I hit retry again? You did this. You did this, you little son of a bitch. <laughs> Reaches through your monitor. <laughs> well, now I gotta do it again. Backseating is when chat is talking when I'm trying to do... Uh, no, uh, backseating is, um, getting mad when the streamer doesn't play the game the way you want it to be played. Again, none of you went, streamer! Um, hello, streamer, you need to do this and this, and that's good, we're making progress on that, but... No more reacting to the content, guys. No more reacting. Okay. Okay. If you pause and hit exit, you can... Are you backseating right now? <laughs> Wait, I actually... If you hit pause and hit exit... Hit pause. Pause? Which one's pause? Pause? Pa which one's pause? Oh! Thank you. I'm just saying, chat. I'm just saying. It doesn't it doesn't make me want to interact. I no, 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 I shouldn't say that. Cuz really I don't give that much of a shit. This was light backseating. But I'm telling you, I have seen people get fucking nuked from orbit for less. Okay. 
Whenever chat is literally saying that I'm having a dark side, where was that one message? When chat, uh, having a wee bit of a DSP moment, and I was literally just playing the game. I don't know. <laughs> what was I, what was I doing wrong to be compared to DSP at that point? That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that kind of toxicity. I saw that message and I'm like, I'm not interacting with the chat. No jokes allowed, fellas. What are we doing right now? <laughs> Going at the streamers having a dark side fill moment while he's playing the game and enjoying it. <laughs> How am I toxic? <laughs> now that's actually, that's a DSP quote. <laughs> You may have started choking the chicken while on stream. Fuck, dude. Did I? <laughs> Damn, did I? <laughs> I think I missed that part of the stream. I'm just, I legitimately, though, I want to know what was I doing to be compared to Dark Side Phil while I was enjoying the game? <laughs> like, we... It was a joke, but I don't get it. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to understand here. I don't get the joke. <laughs> I was just playing the game. <laughs> Didn't even comment on Mr. Pikminichev. <laughs> he just focuses on the negative. <laughs> but I was I was just playing the game. <laughs> this is oh. <laughs> Thought he was grabbing a cookie twice. Oh, okay. See, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> I, I'm listen. I have to be hard on this. I I can't not be hard on this. I am sorry. I will try and be less hard. A little bit less hard, but it's a slippery slope. You know what I mean? <laughs> this guy can't not be hard. <laughs> but do you understand where I'm coming from, though? Like, I'm just trying to play the game, man. I don't, <laughs> I don't want my chat going, oh, bad, oh, streamer failure, bad. You know what I mean? Because that's just a slippery slope. I know you guys are doing it. Eehees. I know you guys are joking. But it's a slippery slope. You know what I mean? One second we're having a laugh. And the next second the chat's filled with people screaming at me. Because I didn't do the Dandori good enough. You know what I mean? Like I... I... From Jet Set Radio Future. It was the worst backseating I've ever encountered. I would do... Hey... I've had some bad backseating. Speedrunners came in. Oh, good. Isn't it so fun when you're having a casual playthrough and speedrunners show up to tell you what to do? What does more constructive chat banter look like during tense gaming moments? Uh, you know what? That's a good question. Yeah, ask Streamer why he doesn't want to play Elden Ring. <laughs> now, to be fair, there's a lot of reasons <laughs> to Elden Ring. Uh, no, Crunch, that's a good question, man. I think we got to figure that out. You know, like Germa stuff? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't like Germa's chat. To be honest with you, I think people are really fucking mean in Germa's chat. Straight up. I think the Germa community ha is, like, pretty funny sometimes. I think there's p people in Germa's chat who he will just be sitting there talking about things. And they will go like, he looks so fucking ugly today. Yeah, they're overly mean to him as a joke. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with that. It, you know, I, I, I encourage banter. I encourage 
having a laugh. I encourage having a laugh at my expense. I'm an e-clown. But n that's the slippery slope I'm talking about. Is like... Jerma's chat is so fucking mean to him. Ooh. Yes, they try really hard to get him. They're either really mean to him or they say something like, lol, so random. They come into his chat and go like, I just stuck a fork up my ass. Trying to get him to read it and react. Um, I don't want that kind of chat. So... It's a really good question. What is constructive banter? What is banter that doesn't lead to toxicity? You look like a 19... Yeah, they say shit. Yes, they say shit like that. Again, I think there's some really... I think there's some really funny, talented... People in Germa's community. I don't want to shit on Germa's community. I certainly don't want to shit on Germa. I think he's one of the best streamers. But I think there are people in his community that fucking suck. I think his chat. It's not the worst chat on Twitch. By like a country mile. But it is. Um, I, I don't like watching Germa streams with the chat on. Because yeah, I will catch someone. They'll be playing like. You know, he'll be playing... What was that one game he played? Paparazzi, where you just take pictures of dogs? And people in his chat were like, Uh, yeah, shitty picture, Germa. Yeah, Germa, your picture was fucking shit. D does he know how to take pictures? And it was just like, ugh. Uh, worst chat? It's, it's, I mean, it's probably... Yeah, it's probably the one you just mentioned. Dunky fans, yes. Uh, I yeah. I like Dunky. I just, even even. I, I mean, I had a huge problem with how he treated Sonic Frontiers and Sonic Frontiers fans, where he like encouraged to people to review bomb the game. I. But I I think Dunky videos are very funny. But holy shit, man! Some Dunky fans. Are like Jesus. And Dunky fans are fucked. So okay, let's stop shitting on other <laughs> people's fan bases. <laughs> um, sorry. I'll say sorry. I d I'm gonna be real with you. I think I did overreact. I did not get that you guys were joking. I legitimately thought that you guys were trying to backseat me and be toxic as fuck to me. I'm sorry. You got to remember, you hear me and see me, I just get text, you know? So I don't know what your tone is sometimes. I'm sorry. It was a little toxic. On both our ends. <laughs> sorry. I did not get that you guys were joking, straight up. I thought you, because I'm so, I got to be real with you. I am so used to any time we get, encounter a challenge in a game, I am so used to backseating. Not even necessarily from you guys who are here tonight, but that I thought that, that I thought it was just toxicity. I thought people were just going, oh, he, does he know? He doesn't know. Does he know? He doesn't know. And I, I thought that legitimately you guys were getting mad that I wasn't playing exactly how you guys wanted to play. Again, I did not get that you guys were joking. Bring back the Doom Wad kids. Yeah. Yeah, bring back the Baldi's Basics kids. Jesus. Let's just keep in mind. Let's just, from this point forward, in mind, I have no idea what your tone is. I'm going to assume you're joking from this point forward. Whimsy. Okay. I was, I'm, I was having a good time. I was enjoying the game. I was enjoying a little bit of challenge. And when I looked over at chat, it was just people going, 
Does he not know? He doesn't know. Does he not know? He's having a DSP moment. And I it legitimately ticked me off. So, it didn't piss me off, but it ticked me off. So I'm sorry. I got toxic. Why am I toxic? I got toxic. It will happen again. <laughs> I don't even think Dark Side Phil played this game. Wow. Sad day. Anyways. Play Pikmin 3 and it was not a pretty sight. Oh, I believe that. But I was just thinking, like, I, don't, I haven't seen any clips of him playing Pikmin 4. And honestly, after um, watching him say that Tears of the Kingdom was not a good game and is too bloated and boring, um, I don't think I want to see him play Pikmin 4. Guess the current speedrun world record for Pikmin 4. 15 minutes. 20, 20, 25 minutes. Six minutes. Jesus. What the hell do you mean six minutes? Oh, one hour, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's okay. That's more believable. <laughs> yeah, um, so Ochi's gonna, we're gonna get Ochi to uh, BLJ. Um, through this wall, and we actually, we end up right here with Olimar. This is the credits scene. Okay, so this is 100% done. Yeah, we haven't even touched the third level yet. We're just fucking around on the second one. <sighs> I learned about, um, I was watching a video essay about We Love Katamari. Because it was called the perfect sequel. And I'm like, well, okay, let's let's learn. And I honestly believe it's it's maybe a perfect sequel. And we will play the reroll version of it on stream whenever I get some time. because uh, I bought it. But one of the things I learned is that like once you beat the game, then you unlock the uh one million roses mode. Where you, it's like three levels that you play at random, and you have to collect one million roses, th like, just in total. And the speed run for one million roses mode, because I was watching that, I'm like, okay, well, like, so what I'll do is, like, I'll just do, like, a whole stream of that. That's pro that'll probably take three hours. The world record speed run for one million roses mode is 17 hours. So, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> I I don't know what I'm going to do about that when I get to it. Either I don't do it at all, or I just like break it up over a couple days, or records were made to be broken. Well, I think this person was probably a lot better at Katamari than I'll ever be. And they played it 17 hours continuously. I can... Listen. I struggled enough doing a half an hour speedrun. I cannot do a 17 hour speedrun. <laughs> I cannot grind a 17 hour run. <laughs> Okay, I, what was I doing? I made it over here. That's what I was doing. And there's, uh, wasn't there a thing? Yeah, there's the, the boat. Do I even, oh shit, kill him. 
Oh my god, he just murdered all those ice Pikmin. I'm throwing yellow Pikmin? I'm throwing yellow Pikmin? I'm throwing yellow Pikmin? Oh, this is, this is a bad start. What are you doing? Why are we doing this? <laughs> Can you please kill this man? Okay, that was really bad. That was a really bad start. We lost like tw we lost 12 ice pikmin where are you going that's a bad start because we don't even have an onion yet to recover those um avg had moment <laughs> what were they thinking no hey you want to have an avgn moment this is what i think of pikmin 4 Damn, that's a good game. Gee whiz, I sure love that game. I'm um, streamer. Yellow Pikmin can't swim. He doesn't know. <laughs> Don't nuke me. Uh, that's a you're on thin ice, buddy. What did the Pikmin pluck and fucking shit is this? Pikmin Dickman. Suck my fucking dick, man. You plucked Pikmin out of the fucking ground? I'm gonna put this game in the ground. And then he would go do a skit where he digs a hole and buries it. Pikmin. More like shitman. Because this game's fucking shit. Oh yeah, and I yeah, I'd love it. It would be great. Oh! Run! Run, my boys! <laughs> Free! How was I supposed to know that was there? How was I supposed to know? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm I'm Ochi? How was I supposed to know? What do they think I am? A uh, fucking psychic? Because if I was, I'd predict a better game. I don't. I don't think anyone could do a good AVGN impression. Um, I don't even think James Rolfe does a good AVGN impression anymore. He's so um. There's such, like, an actual anger to him in, in the Golden Era AVGN episodes that he, like, he just doesn't... I mean, I don't expect a 40-year-old man to be mad about NES games, you know? Uh, I think he's got better things to do, but... Um, he's so, like, genuinely mad in a lot of those. He comes across so genuinely mad... In a way, he doesn't anymore. Now he's just, like, distraught. Like, now he just, he's just like... Whoa, oh, man. What were they thinking? This game's so bad. Whereas back in the day, he was just, like, legitimately fucking furious. And I think that's the big thing. Uh... Like, I think some newish AVGN episodes are, like, pretty funny. But I think the big thing that a lot of them miss out on and fuck up is just his tone. Like, a lot of that stuff is so funny back in the day because he comes across so genuinely angry. And he just, he just doesn't anymore. And, again, 
Uh, he is a 40-year-old man. I'm not really expecting him to. But... I've never heard a good impression of James Rolfe. I've never heard a good impression of the Angry Video Game Nerd. Uh, hi. What do you do? Yeah, it's a really specific issue. Totally. Like, there's other more general things that you can, like, complain about. And I totally, like, get complaining about. But it's so, like... Oh, you have a weird... Okay, well, that's my weird specific issue, but... Uh... His tone is, like, the biggest issue for me. What's your weird specific issue? His mic quality is too good. Yeah, okay. No, I can get behind that. I can totally get behind that. this ice? Okay, we'll, we'll just let them take care of that. One of the big issues... Um, I don't know if I'm going to say it's an issue, but... One of the things that really hurt new episodes for me... Was that he made like a behind the scenes video where uh, he revealed that like they, they don't, he doesn't have like the nerd room anymore. It's they built the old nerd room in an, in his garage. Like they rebuilt it and it's like a way smaller space. And so like he keeps the, camera on a tripod attached to the ceiling uh yeah it's real weird and it's like i would have just preferred if you got a new nerd room i would have just preferred if you just didn't try to to capture the old one i don't know maybe that's just me though because there are i mean i I can't stand the people who, like, hate him. Uh, again, not to talk about shitty fan bases, but um, I can't stand the people who hate him. Who are, like, are mad that he's going bald? What do you want? Mad that he changed the shirt? The shirt, I gotta be real, has no effect on how much I enjoy a scripted thing. I just don't get those kinds of complaints. Complaints about the actual content, totally get. Complaints about he has a different shirt and he has tattoos now. I, I don't know what to tell you. Used to change rooms a lot. He, yeah, I mean, there's four nerd rooms over the course. Like, there's four rooms. Obviously, the, the wood panel basement is, I mean, that's my favorite. I think that's the best one. But, yeah, so it's just, like, weird that... They just rebuilt it in his garage, but at, like, a way smaller scale. So he doesn't have room to move around. And it's like, if... If you built this a set... If you're using a set because it looks... You can make it look like an old set. As opposed to, you're using this set... So that you can... 
you know, if it actively hinders how you film, don't use that set, you know? Uh, it's things like that where I, I'm just like, uh, I don't know, man. But I have nothing but love and respect for James Rolfe. That dude, that dude pioneered. I, I mean, you'd be hard-pressed to find something on the internet he didn't pioneer, you know? Cool eyes. Clown eyes. Chat, what's your favorite nerd room? Do you like the, the one with the Nintendo Power posters? Or do you like the wood grain basement? What's your favorite one? Oh, we're Dandorian? Why are we Dandorian? Why are we? I don't want a Dandori. I didn't know this was a Dandori situation. I thought this was going to be a fun dungeon. Now my chat's going to be toxic. <laughs> Is that a ring pomp? Alright, first strat is always just kill. Alright, while they do that, Ochi, dig this up. I think we're winning? No, 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 no. Hold on, bud. You're, oh, what did you do, man? What did you just do, man? And now people died because of you. Oh, this is not going good. Oh! What are we doing? Stop doing that. Okay, you just shit out a giant Ritz cracker. Great. Okay, go. Um, enter. What's my switch button again? Shit. No, what's my switch button? Okay. Dang. I didn't go that way. Fifth, we do not have enough to for 50. What happened? Everyone died. <laughs> Oh, oh. Uh, those are yellow Pikmin. That's not a that's not a red Pikmin. That's okay. That's all right. You're good, bud. Um There, right, you two guys, you handle that. Good work, boys. This is not going good. Oh, oh, oh. This is helpful.
Do I even have enough for that? No, I only... Oh, no, no, no. I've got exactly enough. Okay. Come here. Come here. Okay, we got it. Um, fuck it, why not? You guys with me. Is that poop? Is it? Oh, that's a pretzel. I don't know, dude. I just, I just thought it was big poop. Uh, we should blow up this wall. We should blow up this wall with a bomb. I have no bomb. We should get all you guys over here. Ochi, my friend. Tear down this wall. Okay, wall destroyed. Red Pikmin, take the pretzel. Yellow Pikmin with me. Uh, <laughs> this is not gonna go good, man. Three, how do I um, get rid of this? How do I tear down this wall? Three, what do they mean by three? How do I tear down the wall? The wall, how do I tear down the wall? I... Okay, all right. You killed three enemies inside. Oh. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, this this was really bad. This was really bad. We actually failed. Oh no, that was bad. Retry. I can do it. I can do it. I can figure this out. Okay. Let's try going this way this time. Three. You, you guys, this guy. What are you guys doing? Are you guys, don't mine. We don't have time to mine. Stop mining. Okay. All right. Ochi. Uh, I threw one. I threw one yellow guy. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everyone's good. Uh, we're happy. We're healthy. Everyone's happy and healthy. Get these guys drunk. 
Uh, drink till I'm drunk, smoke till I'm high. Alright, here's where we split this. Ochi on this. Red guys on this. Three yellow men on me. I definitely need more yellow guys. We will uh, address that situation when we can. Which is now. Na now is when we address that situation. Okay. Um, red guys, kill him. Yellow guys with me. Drop that. Good. Why am I not sending these guys to do shit? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ochi, come here. Grab that. Oh, he's got it by himself. Good. Um... Okay, now this is a predicament. Uh, hold on, we'll, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this one. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, why are they all dying? Why was I stuck? What the fuck is going on? That was bad, man. That was... Okay, Alright, we need to... Um... We need to send these guys... Over there. While this happens, Ochi... Get the gang... Ochi says gang gang. All right, come here. Everyone else, come here. Oh shit, wait. Ochi, I'm Ochi. Ochi in here. Good. 12. Good. Okay. What else needs... Uh... Oh, the gold! Also, this giant cracker. Hey, no. Ochi, come here. Um, yep. Ochi. No, Ochi! Oh, 
Oh, uh, this... This is hard as hell. What is happening, even? It, would you... Guys? Someone? Alright, we got a mine. Like, your little lives depend on it, my friends. And this is just for a bronze. This isn't even... I mean, this ain't even gold. Oh, they got to take the long way around. Okay, all right, all right. Fuck, man. I mean, we made it, but holy shit, this was hard. You should see some of the Pikmin 2. And I, I think I'd rather die. I mean, I'll see it, but uh, I don't think I want to play it. I think I'd rather die. That was crazy hard. What's the, what's the hardest challenge in Pikmin 2? What's the hardest challenge in the whole pick world? Okay, yep, take him out. Carry this corpse. All right, um, what is next for us? Uh, another dungeon. Okay. 100% Pikmin 2 and get the secret ending. You have to complete all 50 challenge mode missions without losing a single... Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. No, I, no, nah. Nah, I'm good, thanks. I'm going to play Pikmin 2 on the stream at some point. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I am not doing that. Single Pikmin. I I can't boot up the game without losing a single Pikmin. And I've seen some of the harder parts of Pikmin 2. You gotta be nuts. Big ups to the people who pull that off. Oh, uh, I guess I'm not I'm not racing against the time limit right now. I guess I can relax. What why does one guy have to be an asshole here? Why did one Pikmin decide to be an asshole? Could have just not. Could have just not. What is that? What's that? What is that? What is this? Alright, who needs who needs a drink?
Dude, that's what I was just thinking. Wouldn't some Pik Pikmin nectar be so nice right now? Hot summer night. Having just a good old slurp of some Pikmin nectar. Oh my god, that'd feel good. God damn, that would tear up the throat issue in the best way. That would... Don't. <laughs> Never mind. Forget I said that, please. Oh yeah, I can do this move. <laughs> no, no, just forget I said that. Let's just... Uh, let's just move on. Let's just move on, you know? Fine. It's fine and it's good and it's normal. It's just, it's normal. Uh, you never, uh, you don't talk like that? Uh, hmm. That's weird. Who's the weird one here? Not me. You. <laughs> Oops. Oh, hey, I found the, the, Pikmin disband button. That's cool. Hey, figure... <laughs> how many hours in am I? <laughs> figure that one out. <laughs> kind of a regular uh, point genius. Point genius isn't even the term. It's point Dexter. That's why his name is Dexter, Boy Genius. What is, what, what is, what's this? Who are these? What's this? I love them. I love them. Break crystal walls. They can survive being stepped on and can't be pierced. Okay, but they can still be eaten. All right, welcome to the crew, Rock Pikmin. All right, you guys handle that. Oh, all right, one red Pikmin. He'll help. Which? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everyone's freaking out. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They're gonna calm the fuck down. Where did Ochi go? Uh, okay. What game are Rock Pikmin from? Are they from 3? They're not new. I've definitely seen Rock Pikmin before. Okay, they're from 3? Okay.
You know, in America, they're called Mega Pikmin. Wow. I did not know that. And did you know in um, in America, uh, or, or in the original Japanese version, he's actually called uh, Oromar, not Olimar. That's true. Have yeah, you ever been into a game? in like a game's lore and you, but you uh, couldn't play the game. You were not, you just, you sucked. That's me and uh, the Mega Man series. I love Mega Man, I love Mega Man lore. I have only ever beaten Mega Man 1 and that's because I used the, the pause glitch to fight the yellow devil. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, don't I do, um, how do I do this again? Ochi command. Treasure. Right? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, how do I get him to dig it up? I right, just throw it, okay. They make such a funny noise when they collide with the wall. Oh, there's still another treasure? No, it ain't down there. Oh, maybe that was the treasure. Okay, it was. All right, dope. Yeah, Mega Man's the biggest one. Where, like, I love talking about Mega Man. I love thinking about Mega Man. I was deep into the Mega Man Archie comic. I love Mega Man music. I love watching people play Mega Man. I can't play them. I beat Mega Man 1. I've gotten far in Mega Man 2. I got to the la the final boss. I got to Sigma. Like the final form of Sigma in Mega Man X. And I couldn't couldn't finish it. What the fuck is that? But that's why I like Mega Man Legends. Because I can play those. And those those are my favorite Mega Man games visually and everything else going on with them I love. So That was easy. I think I gotta use that uh, the Ochi tackle move way, way more than I do. Hello, hello. Micah? Me? Oh, Mika! Like our Mika. Miku? Hatsune Miku? Mega Man's the only game like that for me, I think. I think Mega Man's the only franchise like that. I mean, some would argue maybe Street Fighter. <laughs> but hey, I didn't I wasn't the first one eliminated in a tournament, so I'm you know, I'm doing okay. I'm I'm feeling cool.
I'm swag, I'm swag. I'm eliminating now, are you? How far did you get? I My goal was to not be the first one out, and I wasn't. So like, anything after that was just extra. Okay, that's a path. Limiting round five. Okay, so you got you got pretty far in, I think. Right? Or am I maybe I'm Okay, we'll work about that later. Just outside top four. Okay. Damn. Who who do you play? Who's your main? Why I always throw one red Pikmin. Always. <laughs> Anon, Honda, and Kimberly. Okay. See, you know, you know that he's a real Street Fighter player because he has more than one main. Unlike me. <laughs> I've got Jamie. That's it. Thank you. Last two are going to get first and second. If it's who I think it is, I, I also think that. There are like two, two or three people in the group who are really, really, really proficient in the game. Who are like scarily good. At the game. Uh, oh, this is going bad. This is going bad. I wanted to do the ram. Oh, I wanted to do the ram. Ram him. Do we win? No, no. Rock Pikmin, come here. Oh, Jesus. I fucked this up. Okay. Rock Pikmin, get this. Help you, brother. I wish I could be, like, that dedicated to, like, any game, you know? I wish I could be that dedicated to any game and get good at it. But I also don't care about being good at games. I just care about having fun with games, so. What was that? That 
was cute. I don't even remember what the name of the stream is. It's Itty Bitty Goody Grabber. Okay. <laughs> I kept wanting to name it like Boy and His Dog. Uh, Boy and His Dog Steal Treasure or something like that. And I was like, no. Uh, ever since I did the Final Fantasy 16 stream titled like Clive and His Friends Smash Some Crystal. Um, I was like, I gotta stop doing titles like that. <laughs> nah, that title rules. That one's good. <laughs> oh. Why is he so fuck ugly? Why are you ugly? Stop. Be less ugly. Alright, kill his fuck ugly kids. Alright, who wants what? Everyone grab something. Pretty good at a few games, but I jump around too much. It's fair. I mean, yeah, like, you, you have to... I, I, you gotta grind, right? Like, I, I feel like to be really good at any game, you have to know life it. Um, and that's like, kind of, that's not fun for me personally, so I don't, but for some people, that's a lot of fun. Why is Ochi being killed? Uh-oh. Oh, we got a problem. Kill him. Okay. All right, we're actually okay. Wait, 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 wait. He didn't die? How much more money? Oh, my God. We're rich, baby. The only games I stick with a lot are at are Halo and Isaac. And Kirby, would you say you're good at Halo and Isaac? I'm just the learning phase. Uh, that's fair. See, I'm just bad at learning, so I, you know, sometimes I don't. <laughs> sometimes I don't enjoy that part of the process. There's still treasure here, isn't there? Nope. Okay. Damn, this goes deep. I like esports good, but I'm usually pretty good at Halo. Um, I could beat you. 1v1 me. Uh, 1v1 me. Uh, countdown. Did they fix, wasn't it the, like, battle rifle or something in Halo Infinite was, like, OP? Maybe I'm missing one. Look at 
June? There's a second castaway? Okay. What are these? That's what I thought. 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 Oh my god, there's two of them. Whoa. Stop. Who is this one guy fighting? <laughs> Uh, their asses did not... Oh! Oh! What the fuck are you doing? Throwing works so much better. Throwing works so much better. Oh my god, we're gonna run out of Pikmin. We went from 75 to 15. They're all dead! I have eight Pikmin left. This is the worst day of my life. Rewind? How do I rewind? What is it? Rewind? Oh. Oh, I didn't know I could do this. Yeah, let's do that again. That was rough. I still don't know how to fight these guys. What is the proper way to fight these guys? So before the fight starts, let's get let's get him juiced up. Uh, okay, how do I fight these guys? If we hit them from the back, it doesn't really do anything. If we hit them from the front, they get eaten. What if I what if I do like a lightning shot? Or do like this? Okay, and then. That's it. Uh, we gotta go. That was not effective. What the fuck do I do? Oh, they all. Oh, Jesus. They're gone. They're dead. Okay. Stop. We can't hit them from the front. We can't hit them from the front. Don't hit them from the front. Don't hit them from the front. Don't hit them from the front. Where do I hit them from? Uh... That didn't even give me sap. I thought that gives me sap. It doesn't. It just gives me resources. I don't want that shit. Um. Okay. Don't hit him from the front. I missed.
Oh, God. Oh! This? What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. Um... Ice blast him? Well, that doesn't help. Uh... Listen, if it was one of these, that would be a challenge. They're gone. All of them died. If it was one of them, that would be a challenge enough. Two of them, I do not know how to handle this. I do not know how to fight them. If I hit them from the back, it doesn't do anything because they go for the they go for the front anyways. So I have to hit them from the front, but when I hit them from the front, they get eaten. Okay, that wasn't the strat. That was not the strat. Fuck. I'm li <laughs> Oh. God, what is going on? Why is this so hard? They're dead. They're dead. They're all dead. They're all died. Okay, maybe that's something. Wait, wait, maybe I've got something here. Maybe I've got something here. Do this. Okay. Oh, I should stop recalling them when they're on his face. I should stop recalling them when they're on their face. That's how they're getting eaten so easily. Oh, run that back. Run that back. Run that back. Run that back. I'm the one doing it. I'm the villain. I'm the one getting them killed. I'm the bad guy. Oh my god, it's not that hard. Oh my god, it's easy as fuck. Well, that's on me. That's on me.
I don't. I can't eat. I, how do I even explain that? If I just let them hang, that fight would have been over in 30 seconds the first time I did it. No lives lost. Oh, see, there is juice. All right, get your sippies. Oh, that's the exit, right? How do we get across the water? Oh. Alright, now it's time for me to show you how, where I really excel. Platforming. Yeah. Yeah, you just witnessed a master in action. Okay, no one fall off. Everyone stand in a single file line. Good work. If that was Pikmin 1 or 2, maybe 3, I don't know. Uh, half of those guys would have fallen in the water when I called them. Ochi needs like a nice pair of Tims or something. You know, he just. It's the two feet thing. You know, it, if he had four feet, that'd be different. But he's got two feet. It's like, get the, get the guy some shoes, you know? Get the guy some drip. All right. Did it not? I don't think it said 100% percent completed did it does it do that it does i have to get to the results screen maybe oh there we go that was painful I mean, it was fun, but it was painful. Kind of feel like throwing up a die in now, but it was fun. Oh, yeah, Red Dead on Switch came out today, didn't it? Have there, I, I haven't heard any uh, horror stories yet, so that's probably good. Hopefully. Ah, wow, 75%. Wow. Okay, so where do we need to go now? Oh, that guy needs saved. That way. That way. And then that. That might be it for the stage, maybe. Where's this man that needs saved? Where's this man that I abandoned? Oh, wait. Can I tell Ochi to just go there? No shit. Hands-free gaming. Hands-free gaming. 
Pikmin 4 is the perfect game to masturbate to. You can put that quote on the box. <laughs> All right, I think I think we're good. TSP really should play it. Oh no. What the hell? You guys a Pikmin RP -er. You guys put away your Pikmin at the end of the the days, the nights. Days and the nights in the city. Somewhere in the city. I really want to get that one resource, but I really know it's not worth it. That song, Summer in the City, has got one of the greatest keyboard solos. I love that. That song is great. And then the keyboard solo kicks in and you're like, oh my God. Bam, 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 bam. More songs should have keyboard solos. Am I wrong? Name one song that was hampered by a keyboard solo. You can't. Name one song that was made even better by a uh, keyboard solo. Temporary Secretary, Paul McCartney. Am I wrong? We're kind of a uh, kind of like populating the planet here. Wow. I don't know if I miss I miss the ship changing. Is that a Pikmin one thing only? Where when you, you upgrade the ship it changes how it looks? Only we could find our pilot. Till then, the SS Shepard remains grounded. Oh, I thought we saved four people. Okay. No, just three. Nice. Swag! Oh my god. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit, look at that progress amount. Yep, Nalamar is from... Okay, alright, this is a point of contention. How do you say the planet? Because I've heard it, it, I've heard 700 different readings of the planet name. I, I say Hokotate. I've heard people go Hakotate. I've heard people go Hakotate. I've heard people go Octate. I say Hakotate. Hakotate? Hakotate. Hakotate? Hakotate. Hakotate. Yeah, something like that. Cam Nalamar is from Hakotate, right? I hear that planet's quite well known for its vegetables. Apparently, they're indescribably delicious. Hop, 
I don't I don't remember what his voice was, so we're going with that now. It's always been a dream of mine to one day eat a genuine Hockatate golden pick pick carrot. They're so expensive. I haven't had the right occasion to justify it. Ah yes. Golden pick pick carrots. Just talking about them brings me back to Mother's Kitchen and her amazing cooking. You blend them up in a mixer until they were liquefied. Nutritious, delicious, and extremely efficient for consumption. She took all those beautiful, expensive carrots and made juice? That didn't even count as cooking? Whoa. Oh, so... Our engines are fully ready to go. So does that mean... Is there only four levels? Don't get me wrong. These are massive levels, so I'm okay with that. I mean, we haven't even touched the third level yet. Let alone the fourth. Grass. Once again, the rescue command post was starting to feel a bit cramped. So we've expanded into a new area. Colin and all the castaways joined forces and worked hard to make this happen. There's some raw material that we dug up while clearing the new space. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Okay, all right, we're going to do some upgrading really quick, and then I'm going to call it a stream, chat. All right, let's train Ochi. All right, we got four points. Um, We could teach him. Maybe we should teach him Big Chomp, because we're constantly sending him into battle now. What do you mean, peep? What do you mean pee pee poo poo? Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you mean pee pee poo poo? Okay, now we do a big bite. And we'll learn pluck. Okay, dope. Okay. And then we're going to upgrade our gear. Okay. First of all, get the prototype. The Trachinator. Oh, it's a homing bomb. Okay. We'll take one of those. We... What? I mean, what are we even... Rush Boots... We should buy that. It sounded like someone just took a shit. What was that noise? Okay. I mean, we can get cooler. We should... Uh, let's get this one so that Ochi gets a little upgrade. I feel like he never gets an upgrade. Get him a little upgrade. Nope. Okay. Piclopedia. Do you have money? Yes, more money. Yeah. Yes. Money. Money, please. Okay, so we got to do night expeditions yet next. Let's collect more money. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe we'll be able to get another upgrade. Oh, you're the teacher, right? Mika? You're probably wondering what a high school teacher is doing here. I came to this planet to supervise a student field trip, but it's not going so well. 
Thank you for rescuing me. Yeah, you fucked up. Those kids are gone. Kids are dead. Shiba, Keish, 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 and Kaya. Yeah, your ass is getting sued. Whoa, we're so much faster. Oh my god, that was worth it. Oh, we're going to be tearing it up on the Dandori fields now. All right, so what's, what's your deal? Currently researching the connection between the Pikmin and the whistles they respond to. Okay. Yeah, just pay me now. <laughs> just pay me now. <laughs> okay. We actually have enough for another upgrade. We're so fucking fast. Is Ochi fast when I ride him? Yup. Holy shit. Dude, I am going to tear it up in Dandori battles. I am going to be the Dandori King. Alright, let's buy another upgrade. Um, okay, we could get some armor. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, that could be cool, but I'd, I haven't had a problem with them dying yet. Let's, let's, yeah, let's get the air armor for Ochi. Let's look. We're gonna tank the fuck out of Ochi. Yeah. Okay. Chat, that's it for me tonight. I am gonna call it there as soon as I figure out how to save. There we go. How do I, how do I save? How do I save? Save and return to title. Return to title? Let's save it. Okay. Chad, that's going to be it for me tonight. I am going to bounce. Uh, I will be back tomorrow unless something totally crazy wacky happens. Uh, where did you say that after your progress had been saved? What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Uh, I will be back tomorrow unless something totally wacky happens. And we're going to do a uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Is out tomorrow. Hot new indie game um, inspired by Jet Set. But also from what I've seen of the gameplay, it seems more akin to like a Tony Hawk. Which is very much up my alley. But it's got a lot going on for it that it's like... It's obvious to draw comparisons to Jet Set. But it's, it seems really like it's going to be a lot of its own thing. A very That's one of my most anticipated games of this year. I can't wait. That's going to be a good stream tomorrow. I hope to see you there. And then Saturday I might stream. We'll see. But tonight I'm done. Tonight I'm going to split. I'm going to go get some dinner. Thanks for being here, Thanks for hanging out. Sorry again um, about whatever that Dandori battle situation was. Um, I I think we we both maybe need to work on some shit. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> that's uh, that's something we got to figure out as a community, man. That's something we got to figure out as a community. So um, I hope you understand where I was coming from. I understand where you're coming from. All of your names are on my shit list now. 
Uh, none of you are ever going to fucking make it on this website. And all of you guys are going to... I'm going to get your... Your... Uh, your... Nicktropolis accounts. I'm leaking that info. I'm going to... I'm going to pay some guys on the dark web to hack into your Nicktropolis accounts and steal all your Nick coins. And you're not going to be able to buy the Jimmy Neutron furniture. Fucked up. Out of here. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you tomorrow. Feel pretty confident there will be a stream tomorrow. I'll catch you then. Hey, parenthesis. Catch gotcha. you.